Markets are not going to wait for us to catch up. That's why business and IT have to come together. So I need to hear from all of you, from our IT architects, from our software developers, and from our IT management team. We have to chart our way forward and create a modern IT environment that supports our modern business goals. See you next week. Good luck. Right. All right. Order out of chaos. So where do we begin? Rip it all out and start over. Nice try. Well, we could consolidate a lot of it. Data, application servers, it could simplify some of this mess. No way. I'm not touching any of that old code. Look, we need to speed up development. If we can reuse code that already works... Yeah, yeah, but it's like, you know, what works fine here can crash the system over here. Anything we change has unintended consequences. It's not about costs. It's about providing new business opportunities. Uh, yeah. But our management budget stays the same. And there's no money for new facilities. Or to deal with energy, cooling. Complexity, security. Maintenance, upgrades, backup. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, it is also about costs. Well, that's fewer boxes. Yeah, but we're still siloed. And we still have to make connections here to here. And then here to here. And when the business starts to grow, we're back to spaghetti. We need better integration. Developing new functionality isn't the problem. It's all the testing and deploying that's killing us. Yeah, we're coding on eggshells. I mean, it takes weeks to get any little update. And over here, I mean, it's hard for us to even know if we're working on the most current version. I mean, it's really slowing us down. So, we need more efficient testing, better orchestration, more vacation. <laughs> so, if our architecture team designs a new system that's less complicated, we should well, be able well, to work on. New system? They've never given us any system. But we've got thousands of boxes that barely communicate. A system is something that works together. Yeah, I, I spend six hours every day just to make sure the whole thing keeps running. Okay, okay. So, how can our distributed infrastructure work more like a system? So instead of a million little roads, we have one super highway that all the data runs on with standardized on-ramps to connect our applications more easily. Looks good in theory. What platform is powerful and scalable enough to handle all of this information? Yeah, you'd need a mainframe. What about the mainframe? You're kidding, right? develop new applications on the mainframe. The Z has advanced virtualization. We can develop, test, and go into production on the same box. Yeah, in COBOL. <laughs> <laughs> and in Linux, Java, XML. And we'd be able to access the same information 24-7 all over the world. No more server sprawl or patch days. Or huge cafeteria meetings whenever there's a new implementation. Uh, Right. And we save money on energy, cooling, facilities, and management. Mm -hmm. I thought you said it wasn't about money. Any bright ideas? I think so. You'll never believe it. So how can we integrate IT and business for greater agility? Jen. We recommend integrating our applications and data with the system Z to make our IT more flexible. Interesting. What about enabling business growth, Bill? We also recommend System Z. Can't blow our budget. Won't blow the budget. Well, certainly software development is not going to choose the main Well, factor. actually, sir, we are. We believe it's the best choice to provide new business functionality quickly. OK. I'm hearing System Z loud and clear on this. Glad we could all come together.